Well, beloved, let us turn our eyes into heaven and stay focused on the, the Almighty Yahweh Elohim, who is sovereign and, and in His hand is sovereignly all the world. He is keeping His eyes upon His sons and daughters and he is looking for his word to perform it. So he is looking for his word. He is looking for his covenant. He is looking towards his covenanted people to come back to him and begin to cry out to him and call upon him. And he will remember the covenant that he has made with Abraham, Isaac and Israel. And he will remember the covenant that he has been made with you when you have been as a Gentile from the nations, from the nations has been grafted in to the olive tree. And as you confess him as the Lord and Savior, and as you were immersed in water and, and received the Holy Spirit and fire, you are his people. And some of you, you knew him, but you left him. And he's calling you back now in this time of restoration of all things and time of coming back to him to, his, to the first love because he's standing at the door and he's knocking he's knocking into the door of the church how sad it is that he's outside of the church and he's knocking because he want to come he want to enter in and dwell together with you beloved let us come back to the first love to the restoration of all things. The first word I will share with you, it is the word from the uh, from the Second Chronicles, chapter. Let me see, Second Chronicles, chapter twenty. When you are looking for the, the, there are two kings in this book, you know, one of them is a King Hezekiah and one of them is a King Jehoshaphat and uh, <laughs> we, will, we will focus now on the Jehoshaphat, just like we did on the Day of Atonement. Yom Kippur, we was teaching on the Hezekiah, how he placed his letter upon the mercy seat and he, how he was lifting up his eyes to Yahweh and began to worship him. And Yahweh gave him supernatural great victory that he don't even have to shoot the arrow. But more than 180,000 people, soldiers of a Syrian army, was destroyed through the night. So now we are looking on the Second Chronicles 20, and when you study on your own from verse from chapter 18, 17, 17, 18, actually the story is 19. Yes, it's just actually three chapters. If you can study, you can you can be really minister too. But let us look uh, into the King Hezekiah. Uh, sorry, King Jehoshaphat and the King Hezekiah. But now we're looking to the King Jehoshaphat, who was a ruler in Judah. Is a tribe not far, a few miles away from Israel. Israel and Judah was divided after the Solomon. Um, um, forsaking the path of his fathers, the tribe was divided. And in that word, we know that has Jehoshaphat, he was a great king and uh, fearing God, man, and he respect and honor it, the prophet, 
prophets that God was raising up and speaking through. You can see his, his alignment that he began to take place with the King Ahab of Israel. And uh, King Ahab, he was not walking in the way of the Lord. He did not honor the true prophets. And he do, he have itchy ears like many leaders, government leaders. It's amazing to us that many presidents and governments and people in power and authority, they don't want to listen to the voice of Elohim through his servants, the prophet, in order for them to prosper and listen to Yahweh in order for them to be established. But they have itchy ears, so they will listen to false news and false prophets. So, in this 2020 to 2030, actually they left from 2020 to 2030, this is the decade of pay. Pay, pay in Hebrew is a picture of the mouth. Is a lion mouth, is a picture of proclamation. That is why you can see the principality and the power of darkness was, was putting pillow on the mouth of his people or the nappy mask on nappy on the face of the people in order for them to prevent proclaiming the word. So it has been spoken and it is so said that enemy knows the spiritual climate spiritually and many God's people don't. So it is time for us to have eyes to see and ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Because it is the mouth to speak, pay, and I, A-I, A-Y-A. In Hebrew, it means eyes, the way we see it. For the next, now it lasts just the eight years. And uh, it is very important to know that in this rapid, supernaturally abandoned restoration, 